Hi friends, how are you today? Sally and I are so glad you're here. Sal, can you say hi to our friends? She's glad you're here, friends. Do you know what time it is? You're right. Sally, would you like your treat? There you go, Sal. You have your treat while I say hi, okay? All right, friends. I've got a really special book for you today. This is a book that a very good friend of mine wrote. Her name is Jessica, and she wrote this book. And it's called Squeak and Jumbo, The Problem Solving Pair. Friends, which one of these is bigger? Is an elephant or a mouse bigger? You look, you're right. The elephant is bigger, right? And the mouse, mouse is very, very small up here. This book is gonna talk about problems. And which one do you think is a big problem? The elephant, it's an elephant problem and a small problem is a mouse problem. So let's hear about it, okay? All right, here we go. This book is written by Jess Shrum. day there was a mouse who liked to investigate problems. His name was Squeak. Squeak explains, I'm a, I'm a bit small, you see, and sometimes our problems are just like me. But don't fret or worry, these problems won't last. They will quickly become a thing of the past. Not sure what's a small problem or how to know? I'll help you understand quick. It's time to go. Hi Squeak, it's me Jumbo. There's Jumbo, he's the elephant. Did you mention what kind of problems I show? They are huge, ginormous, and super big. These problems aren't meant for a kid. You'll always need help and you'll know what to do if an elephant problem happens to you. Let's get going and see what problems we face to determine who can help in their place. Squeak says to Jumbo, she looks sad. I wonder what kind of problem she has. Her castle got knocked over by, by Tommy standing too close. I think it was an accident. It happens to most. All right, friends, so her castle got no, knocked over. Mouse or elephant problem? Is it a big problem? Or is it a small problem? Let's find out. Yes, you're right. Woohoo! exclaimed Squeak. This is a problem where I know just what to do. Mouse problems are simple to solve. It's true. It was a mouse problem. Here are some examples just for you. Tommy can help Emma rebuild the castle and apologize, letting her know it was an accident. Emma can remind Tommy to slow down. She can also choose to build it again, making something new or finding somewhere else to play. Squeak says to Jumbo, don't worry, Squeak. This is a problem for me. When someone is in trouble, this, it's big, you see. Stay calm and get help. That's the most important thing to do. Any grown-up will agree and even thank you. So if there's an ambulance, is it a mouse or an elephant? Elephant, you're right you need a grown-up's help with that. Ah, says Jumbo, it looks like Robert is having too much fun, but his mom is saying the day is done. 
It's always tough when it's time to go, but it's just a mouse problem. Here's how you know. The problem doesn't take much time and anyone in the end will be just fine. Here's some solutions for him. Mom can give Robert a five minute warning before they leave. Robert and his mom can come up with ideas about what might make him feel better and make a plan for next time. Now can you see that when problems arise, it doesn't always have to be a surprise? Think it over so you can figure out what kind of problem is coming about. Let's check out some other problems ahead and this time you help guess instead. Jeff looks like he might be really sick. We will need to get help quick. Do you see Jeff? He's the one right here. So if you need to get help because someone's sick, is it a mouse or an elephant? Let's find out. Elephant problem. If you are feeling sick, make sure to get a grown up up to check in on you. If a friend is feeling sick, make sure you give them space and get an adult if no one is there to help. Squeak says, Paul took Sarah's toy. She does not look happy with that boy. Here's a new problem. He took her toy. Mouse or elephant? Here we go. Mouse problem. Paul can ask for a turn with a toy. Paul can set a timer and play with something else while he waits. They're solving their problem. Look! The flames are getting higher, says Jumbo. There must be a fire. Mouse or elephant? Elephant problem. Always get a grown up if you see or smell fire. There might be people in trouble. If you know how to use a phone, you should call 911 for help the fire truck. Sophie can't tie her shoes. What should she do? Mouse problem. Sophie can ask a friend for help. Sophie can keep practicing until she gets it. Here she's asking someone for help for her shoe. Bob and Michael won't let Terry play soccer. Jumbo says, that's not a friendly thing to do. Is that a mouse or an elephant problem? Mouse problem. Terry can find another friend to play with. Terry can play a different game while she waits until Bob and Michael are done playing with the soccer ball. Is. Okay. Michelle fell out of the tree. Oh my, look at her knee. Mouse or elephant? Let's find out. Elephant problem. If you fall, make sure not to move your body if it's really hurt. Then you can get a grown up right away. You have all done so well at identifying the problems, says Squeak. You even got to practice and solve them. Jumbo says, solving problems is my favorite thing to do. Maybe it can be yours too. Mouse 
And that's the end. There's Jumbo and Squeak. That's the end, friends. What do you think? Do you think you could solve some problems? When it happens, you could say, hmm, is this a mouse problem or is it an elephant problem? Usually during the day, we have a lot of mouse problems, don't we? Something that might make us feel sad or frustrated, but really we could probably solve it on our own. All right, friends, it's time for me to say goodbye to you. All right, Nathan and Avery, Carlota and Max, Boyce and Ellis, Henry, London, Freya, Peyton, Olivia and Sloan, Sutton, Sebastian and Lucy, Oli and Ruby, Millie and Sammy, Terry and Judy, Kristen and Mindy, Andy and Jason and Pam and Lola, Dakota, Avery, Maverick, Sophia, Rayu, Milo and Michael, Reese and Brandt, Larky and Blossom, Kinsley and Everly, Adeline and Landon, Lily and Lincoln, Alexa and Flynn, Fife and Ford, Johan and Soren, Henry and Harper May, Brooklyn Ray, Addison, Emma, Stella, Eli and Lizzie, Will and Brooke, Thea and Vesper, Mikey, Eli from Bend, Ellie and Sam and Nolan, Maya and Eleanor, Cooper and Elliot, Charlotte, Emma, Becky and Bella, Eloise, Karen, Joshua, Julia and Jeffrey, Marquise and Maya, Gray and Avery, Craig and Teresa and Ashlyn, Remy, Amber, Olivia, Teacher Mac, Andy and Ada. Remember friends, if you didn't hear your name and you would like to hear your name, make sure your grown-up lets me know that you're watching so I can say goodbye or hello to you too, okay? All right, Sally, are you ready to say goodbye to our friends? Come say goodbye. Come say goodbye. Can you come up and say goodbye? She's feeling lazy today, friends. Here we go. Say bye, friends. See you next time.